Hello there, welcome back to another tutorial on how to animate in 3D paint. My name is Shao and I'm from P2 Studios. So today we're going to be learning how to use your workspace more efficiently. So the first point of our video today is learning how to use this workspace so that we can improve our workflow even more. So when we come to learn all of these tools and techniques, you'll find yourself working faster while limiting your frustrations due to roadblocks. So when we're working traditionally on a light table with our registration bar pegs, most of us animators use um, a desk or um, a light table that rotates. You might even do this just drawing on a piece of paper as well. Rotating our workspace allows us to create strokes or lines that are smoother and less flawed. This allows us to develop our drawings faster and in turn complete frames more efficiently. So if you notice here on our stage we have a button, uh, there's actually two of them here that we're going to be reviewing today. This is the first button that we're going to be using is the rotate tool. And so to do this all we do is we click and we hold on the button and then we can move our mouse or our pen left or right and as you can see when you click and hold on the button that a light table appears on our, on our workspace so as you can see I'm holding down and I can rotate and what this does is allows us to rotate our workspace and be able to draw um, in the orientation that we're used to drawing in. and this is very helpful so that we can um, maintain the, um, the look and also like I said the smoothness of your lines so the shortcut keys for this rotation tool is on I believe on PC is control alt and then you left click on your mouse knowing our shortcut keys are also a great practice as you learn this tool of rotation so um, right clicking on the same button also brings up a pop-up menu for our options regarding the rotation of our workspace. As you can see, we right click, we come up with this pop-up menu here. Now reset what it does, for instance, if we uh, have rotated our screen um, to the point of where we're done and finished with editing, all we have to do is we can rotate this and we can reset. So that brings our um, rotation or our, um, of our screen back to normal position. Now we have rotate counterclockwise. As you can see, it will rotate our image um, or our stage uh, clockwise. And we also have ro rotate counterclockwise. So yeah, I just did the opposite. So anyway. Um, and then we have, as you can see down here, that um, you can set the manual um, number of degrees in the positive or even in the negative rotation. Positive rotation is clockwise, so it will turn to your left. And then the negative rotation is counterclockwise, so it will turn to your right. So you'll notice that all these increments and the movements of these rotations in the menu is done by increments of 15 degrees. So now that you understand a little bit about how the stage is rotated, you also we also have a tool that helps us um, get a gain a little more perspective on the layout and the composition of our um, work that we're working on the project. We're um, if you use Photoshop um, and you're a painter or a concept artist um, working on your animation, you'll notice that in Photoshop you're able to flip your drawing from left to right or top to bottom. Now this program also allows you to do this. Um, again, you just wrote, uh, go to the rotate tool, right click, and you'll see it says flip X and flip Y. So if you flip X, it will flip our project or image from the right to the left. 
and if you flip, and we can flip that back, and if you flip the Y, it will flip it so that our project goes from top to bottom. And again, the flipping it does not in any way alter your prog uh, your project, whatever you're working on. It's just part of the rotation tool, just like when you rotate it. So that way you can, you know, increase your workflow a lot faster and you can work a lot faster. And that's the main point of animation because, you know, drawing all these frames alone takes a long time. So we try to find these little points or tools that help us, you know, speed up our workflow. So we can flip this back or you can even push reset. And, um, and then what you could do is if you wanted to set it so that it stays permanent, you can push set. And as you can see, there's different um, hotkeys for each one of these actions um, and the brackets here. So the shortcut for um, the X and the Y, as you can see, is the open bracket, and which controls the X. And then the closed bracket, which is not showing right here, but the closed bracket, which is the opposite, will flip the Y position. So the last little tiny um, tool that we have here on this little toolbar here, um, this is our panning tool. It looks like a um, kind of like a four-way button. And this panning tool is a really cool um, tool because if you, like in Photoshop, if you push down the space bar, and you know, it's a grab tool, and it'll grab your, your picture and go, um, you know, move it around so you can work a lot faster. Uh, this is the same option. You just hold down on the button with your left mouse button or your pen, and you can just drag it around and allows you to pan your shot around the stage so you can work on it and you can zoom in using the zoom in and out keys. And you can just pan, like if you wanna get close into the flower here, you can just zoom in and then pan over and then start working on it. And so this is, and then you can just go ahead and reset and bring this back over. And so this is what the shot looks like so far. It's just a butterfly flying in. So this wraps up our video for um, today. Um, again, it's just a review on our tools for our rotation tool and our panning tool. Again, the, um, the keys here, if you wanna bring up the menu, just hover over it right click on your mouse and I'll bring it up um, on this one the panning tool is pretty simple you just click on it and it, it'll bring you around there is no pop-up menu here if you try to click on it with your right mouse button um, and again you can set the number of degrees again remember it's in 15 degree increments and the rotation is um, clockwise with the with positive degrees and counterclockwise with the negative degrees. So, like I say every time, keep on practicing, keep on animating, and I'll see you guys next week.